Howdy on Wallax Lives. I think it's time we play a little Avitech 2. Well, I'm I'm concerned that my base keeps exploding. And I can't figure out what's causing it. I thought maybe it was figured out, but clearly it's not. Um, so I'm wondering, I mean, I don't know what it could be. It's driving me crazy because I can't go work on my project in the desert because something here blows up. Maybe above, maybe down here. I don't know. I can't tell. How can I tell? It doesn't blow up while I'm here is the problem. It only blows up when I go over there. I start batting my base. Who invited you in here? So, uh, I realized that while I was... Oh man, look at this thing is... Running out of steam here. Oh. Um, right, because I disconnected these. Interesting. I'm going to disconnect both of them. Oh, but there's definitely no steam in here. Did I? Oh, there's no steam in here. All right, well. Uh, let's see. This guy has a thing. Let's make sure it's on import. No. Okay, so now we'll use this to pump steam out. Okay, there we go, all right. And then the next thing I've got to do here is I've got to come up here and these guys are all empty. That's problematic. Um, is this full of stuff it shouldn't be? Yes, yes it is. No, no, no. Why are you filling up with stuff you shouldn't be full of? Uh it's because I tied in that other quarry, so it's it's connected wrong over here. It's connected wrong right here. Um Okay. Because this should only be filling up with logs, not all this other junk. Um, okay, well, this is also full of stuff. Weird. 
Okay, so what I want to do is I want then to disconnect that on that side, and then we'll connect this on this side, and we'll change it to an extract. And then 10 hours later, it will have extracted everything that's in my way. Really, then you just stopped? Doesn't this tie into... Yeah, it does. Okay, well, <laughs> uh. Everything's a mess. Okay. Oh, you know what? I totally put in that block that I needed. All right, so now this says it's getting no power. Okay. I think we can do this, and I'll do this. And then I think I can put this here. Still nothing? Okay. It's dang engine. Glitches, man, they're killing me. Okay, there you go. Now you've got power. There's a reason I'm doing all this. Uh, so once we can get the the um, this whole thing going again, and it'll start pumping logs into the system, then I can turn back on my charcoal production and get my anchor turned back on and see if that will stop the explosions. I wonder if I could run uh, just some power cable over to this thing and tie it into my bigger system with my single piece of energy conduit here. We think one one piece of energy conduit. Alright, let's go see if we've got some more energy conduit. I'd like to think that I have uh, at least the recipe in place if that's the case. Inner oh yeah I've got energy conduit. I don't know if 43 is enough, but it might be. Um,
Okay, why don't you have any power in you? Or maybe it just reads that way, I don't know. Well, it's starting to go anyways. All right, how are we doing then up here? So now I gotta go all the way up here. I gotta check my pyrolyze ovens to uh, make sure that they are clear. Um, it's probably gonna take a while though because the all of my uh, Coke ovens Yep, you're good. You're just not on. Uh, oh, you're right there. Oh. Yeah, your battery's got plenty. You got steam. You're good. Okay, and then... Uh, these guys. You're good. And you're good. Oh, you're actually on. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with these guys that they turn off just randomly. Um, I, I get that they might run out of fuel, but you'd think they'd just come back on when they got fuel, but they don't. And so I find that uh, a lot of times they just run out uh, so then that should be sending fuel down this way yep we got a stack in here um, and that sh that's enough to cover my base so For 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, so the um, the anchor uh, is supposed to keep this whole area loaded, and so I do find that I have trouble keeping the fuel pr production going. Not that I have trouble making enough fuel just that I have problems with it turning off randomly. You know, like when the engine decides I'm done. Uh, although I will take blame. I did, uh, I did make the mistake of, uh, this guy down here not being set up correctly. This is uh this is where the the lumber is supposed to go to, and the uh, uh, the wood, the um, sand, the dirt, all that goes down there, uh, and then it gets turned into things. Um, it's been a long time since I, I looked at this thing. Uh, so basically I've got my, my farm, right? And it grows the trees and then it automatically harvests the trees. And then the uh, when it gets to the point where it has extra saplings, which it hasn't got to yet, then those saplings will get fed into here. Uh, and then those saplings get fed into here. And then they get fed into here. And they come out as dirt. And then if there's too many saplings, because of how slow these machines are, then they'll just go in the trash. Uh, the dirt goes back into the system. Uh, and ends up somewhere down below uh, for use in the farms. And then the, um, the sand also goes down below. 
and some of that gets fed into um, making more uh, fertilizer, which is used for the farms as well. But I don't think my fertilizer construction is turned on currently. Uh, I do need to to get that turned on, I guess. Um, I will point out, though, I've been here for 15 minutes now, and there's been no explosion, which is... I just don't understand why it explodes if I'm not looking. It's like a... I've got Schrodinger's explosion. There might be explosion, but we don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> As long as I'm observing it, I don't know when it's going to happen. It's not quite Schrodinger's. All right. So I'm going to hit the back up here. And then... Grab some limestone. And then we'll pretend that because I've got the... Yep, we'll pretend because I've got the... Uh... anchor fueled that nothing's going to explode while I'm gone. You know, these drop here. You don't think they cause it, do you? I thought maybe it might be not enough water, but again, I don't think these reactors can explode. I think that's a whole like trick with them is that they don't explode. Oh, this does look like it could use some more water. Uh, let me see if I've got some more parts down here. Um, I don't have... I don't have the other upgrades that I need. I think I yanked a bunch of upgrades out of these. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, a bunch of these have nothing in them, yeah. So, I need, um... I need the blue ones. Alright, well, I'm gonna go down and tell it to make me a batch of blue ones before I fly out, then. Um... Make like, uh, what do I need? Three. Uh, I guess just make a couple hundred. We'll just lazy it. All right, now I'm going to fly out. And watch it explode while I'm gone. I also thought maybe what's happening is I did release the... Oh, man. I did release the... Um, I hate how much work I do over here, and then when I go back, it's undone because of the explosions. Um, I did release that one wither that came with a ghast, and I wonder if there's not some kind of transposition thing happening... I, it just, I can't tell because it won't explode while I'm there. If it exploded while I was there, then maybe I'd have some understanding of what was happening. But clearly, I will never, oh, I didn't even finish that row up there. I must have run out and then went back to get more and then found my base exploded. 
Uh, all right. Okay, I'm gonna move this up and we'll move this up as well. That way I don't have to keep swapping so often. I don't know how long I have to stay here to find out if my base is going to explode. I mean, that's what I'll, I'll, I'll do the rest of this and then And then we'll fly back to see if that made a difference. So my thought process with this pattern is that a wither is too big to fit in the two by two gaps. Um, and I will have to come back out here with some lights. Um, because I've got the, the wither proof blocks that will contain the wither. And so there shouldn't be there shouldn't be explosions happening amongst these bricks necessarily. Uh, and so I trust them to not get destroyed, but the they should provided a wither follows the teleport well the teleporting wither follows the teleporting rules of um, Enderman. This should should prevent That's weird. Why did I start another one? I was just going to finish off the one above me, but it looks like it was already done. Oh well. Should possibly prevent any of that nonsense of a teleporting wither. Maybe. And well, I don't see an explosion. Things still seem to be working. Doesn't mean anything, but currently, currently, I have a working setup. Ooh, and these should be going then with, yep. Yep, so this uh, fills up with a, oh, you're not, there you go. So those get output to here. And so then the plant balls get shredded into, uh, I think it's plant, plant manor. I forget what it's called. Shred it. Oh, you ground it up too fast for me to look to see what it's called. And then this outputs dirt. And so basically, plant ball, shredded, shredded, dirt. <laughs> and then that dirt should pop over here. No. Oh, right, because wait. How about now? 
Well, it went somewhere. Um... Hmm. Oh no, here's the here's the green connection right here. That's sand though, that's not I don't have any way to put dirt in here. Weird. Um, oh, this guy got dirt. Okay. This guy's got dirt. Oh, and then he outputs dirt. Yeah. Okay. And that dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then my question becomes why, if you're outputting dirt, does my you know what maybe i need another no because the output dirt should come here and you're not doing it because you're only outputting from no you're tied in Wait, why do you have... Oh boy. Uh, okay, so... You accept dirt only. I think this should actually be a green. There we go. I think it was just on a loop. There you go. Now you've got some dirt. All right. Well, maybe, maybe having that anchor going again. I don't know that it wasn't going, but I assume it wasn't. Will uh, allow me to not blow up while I'm gone and actually be able to get some work done on my cage. So with that, be bearing the small things, lean to the light, and I will talk to you later.